Good evening, everybody. So we are back. We are going to do another painting that is just water and paint. So um, we are using all Deco Art products, and our canvas was prepped with the Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black, and that is also the black that our um, that is in going to be our flood color. But we also mixed some of this uh, matte metallic charcoal into it. So um, all together, it was eight ounces of paint. Yes, that is a lot of paint. So it was about five ounces of the Lamp Ebony Black um, and then three ounces of the matte metallics. And then for the water, I did not, for the first time ever, did not measure the water. I've had some paintings crack lately and I think it's because there's just too much water in them but I was also using um, pouring medium with them so today we are just using um, the paint in the water so I basically just added the water very very slowly until I got a really good thin consistency that is not opaque though so it's like I can't see the straw through the paint it's not so thin that it's opaque um, but it's easy to stir. There is no tension or any of that kind of stuff. So you'll just have to play with it till you find the consistency that works for you. From what I found, the consistency is different with whatever type of paint. So we also are using this Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics. It is so fluid already that I barely added any water at all um, to get it to the consistency I needed. So it needs to be a, a thin consistency to be able to move onto the canvas but not too thin that's water and it cracks so this is one of those trial and error things so um so those were our colors for the black then like i said we also have the deco art media fluid acrylics cobalt teal hue um we have the uh, matte metallics pewter and for each one of these i just did one ounce of paint and then I just slowly put the water in, put kind of a, a little squirt of water in there and mixed it up. And the squirt of water and mixed it up until I found the consistency that I wanted. So I do not have the water ratios for you, but it was one ounce of each of these. The Cobalt Teal Hue, Media Fluid Acrylics, co um, and then the Dazzling Metallics Deco Art Sterling Silver. And uh, we will see what we get. This is kind of a, a test run thing to, um, to see what kind of, of movement we get. Uh, this is a 12, no, yeah, 12 by 36 stretched canvas. Um, we are using the Conair Cord Keeper 1875. Lowest heat setting. I do use the cool button. Highest pressure, though, for me on this one. You'll just have to play with it to find the right setting for your blow dryer. And then having this attachment definitely helps funnel the paint better. All right, let's, I'm going to get my music, get my K-Love turned on and praise my God and paint and see what we get.
All right, we are all done. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I believe I'm calling this one Blue Dragon, I think is what I'm going for. Um, so I don't think I had enough black mixed up to get really full movement all the way to the edge, but I think I had just enough to get enough movement. Um, we will see how this dries. Um, hopefully there won't be any cracking or anything like that. And hopefully the black won't soak up all of this color. But I think because the black was thin enough, like a thin layer, that we should be okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Um, part two, we will, I'm just going to do a quick torch. Part two, we will uh, be putting a coat of resin on this and finishing it up. So again, thank you very much for watching. Down in the description, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. I will put all of the colors down in the description like I normally do. Um, there's also a link to my, uh, if you would like to sponsor my channel, to my PayPal account. Um, that helps me get canvases and paints and all that kind of stuff so we can try all new things like this. For the month of October, um, anybody who sponsors my channel will be entered into a drawing to win um, this. It is, I believe, an 8 by 10 It might be 11 by 14 but I don't think so. I've been telling everybody it's an 8 by 10 Nope, it is a 9 by 12 actually. I was had to split the difference. So it is a 9 by 12 um, Dutch pour that has a Mandalay Owl on it and it is sealed in polycrylic. So the winner, we will do the drawing um, together the first video in November. And the winner will get this painting um, and also a coffee mug of my choice. So again, thank you very much for watching. Check out the description below for all of the information you need. I will see y'all in part two. And as always, God bless.